So I was tagged by Absolute Pandemonium to do a dumping debt tag where we discuss five things that we have gotten rid of and five things that you might call luxuries that we absolutely will keep in our budget. So make sure you check out her page. I'll link it down below. And I'd like to tag Connie Porter and Living With The Edges to do this video too. So tag, you're it. Now, if y'all could go tell them that I tagged them, that would be awesome. Five things we don't spend our money on anymore. Number one, rent or a mortgage. We moved in with my parents, as y'all know, so we don't spend any money on rent or a mortgage. Number two, I don't spend $300 a month to color my hair. As y'all can see, I'm getting where I need a color touch up. So I'm gonna go to my favorite new hairdresser, Mauricio, my husband, who will uh, color my hair and then he'll be toning my hair today also. Actually, that's on the calendar for tonight. I don't know if he knows that. I should really make sure he knows that. Number three, I actually recently stopped buying foundation from Makeup Forever which is a brand I absolutely love. I saw this video from Danielle Mansui, I think it's how you say her name. Um, I'll link it down below. It was a makeup tutorial, cause you know, why not watch makeup tutorials? I need the help. So I, she was doing her everyday makeup routine and she's an absolutely beautiful girl. And she used CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. And I was like, okay, this girl's awesome and beautiful and why can't I use her foundation, seriously? So I actually bought it, and I'll uh, also put a link down below to, to it if you are interested in checking it out. It was like 10 bucks compared to my 50 bucks, and it's awesome, I love it. Like, love it so much, I don't know that I would actually go back. So, um, yeah, go check it out, because it's so much cheaper than expensive makeup, and I so never thought I would buy drugstore makeup, I really didn't. Number four. Okay, so all of you know that we have kind of a problem with spending money on other people. So actually, that's one of the things we don't do anymore. Don't ask me for money, because I'm not giving it to you. I'm getting really good at saying no, and so is Mauricio. Promise you, don't ask, because I'm not doing it. And number five, I don't shop anymore. I don't shop for clothes. I very, very, very rarely buy new clothes. I have a huge closet. I am totally paring down things that I need to get rid of because I need space in my closet. It's that packed. So yeah, I'm not buying new clothes throughout this whole process. If there's something I really, really, really want, I'm going to save up my blow money and then I'll get it. But other than that, nope, not going to TJ Maxx, not going to Marshalls, not going to the mall, not shopping on Amazon, not anything. And when I say I'm not shopping on Amazon, that doesn't include like our normal stuff that I always have to buy on Amazon. I'm talking about shopping. So five things that we are probably luxuries to everybody else, but they're absolutely going to be in our budget no matter what. Number one, our iPhone plans. So we um, have had our iPhones from long before when we were on the plan and these iPhone sixes are going to stay with us. I'm sorry, this is the iPhone six plus. They're going to be staying with us until we are debt free. Don't tell Mauricio because he'll be really mad when the new iPhone comes out and he doesn't get to get it. Anyway, so yeah, one of the things that we will absolutely be always having in our budget is we have like a $170 cell phone bill because we have huge data plans. And the reason we have huge data plans is because, well, we want them. We could say that they're because Mauricio Ubers and um, and he needs a lot of data, which is true, absolutely. But um, yeah, no, we just want big data plans because we use a lot of data for all sorts of things. So I am totally okay with spending that money on our data plan. Number two, we go to Columbia every year. Actually, we haven't been in 18 months because we moved up here and it got complicated and whatever. But we um we travel to visit family every year we're about to go at the end of september and we're super excited about going and it's very very important to us that melina gets to see her grandparents at least once a year and so you know what it'll be happening it's paid for in cash everything will be paid for we will even have 
$1,500 saved up for the week that Mauricio won't be working to spend, um, to put into the budget. So it won't, we won't have that loss in, in income during the time he's gone. So yeah, it's taken a lot of planning and forethought, but it's so important to us. And so we're just gonna do it. Number three. Okay, so we pay about $1,400 a month for Melina's school. Um, she is four years old. And since both Mauricio and I work, it is actually a necessity, kind of. My parents could probably take care of her, but honestly, she's an only kid. She needs interaction with other children, and I don't want to burden my parents like that. I, that would be crossing the line of acceptable behavior in my book. So, no, I'm not going to require them to take care of my daughter all day, every day. No. That's just not fair. Number four. So we have a couple of apps that we use every month. Uh, I have a running app, which costs me about $10 a month. And Mauricio uses Apple Music, which also costs about $10 a month. Those are things that make our life nicer, more pleasant. For me, the running app, it forces me to do interval training because I have this evil guy yelling in my ear telling me to run faster. Um, so it actually is motivating for me. And... Um, Mauricio spends all day, every day in his car, and I'm pretty sure the same seven songs on the radio get really boring. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pay the $20 a month for those two things. And if you wanna lump Netflix in there, probably not a necessity, but I am always gonna have Netflix. I was gone from Netflix for a while because I was irritated about, you know, eight years ago, nine, seven years ago when they split pricing for online streaming, but we came back to it recently. I will never get rid of Netflix again. So yeah, number four would be my, um, my apps that are totally important to us. And number five, we're back to Amazon because I love Amazon. Amazon is awesome. And I love being able to shop in two seconds. So I put, you know, 50, 200 bucks every month into Amazon because I know things are gonna come up and I know we're gonna buy them off of Amazon. And so I just plan for it. So do I need them? Probably not. but. I, I'm planning for it and I know it's gonna happen so I'm being reasonable and responsible and hey, that's way so, so, so much better than I ever did before. So, so yeah, we have Amazon. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel and if you like my videos, click subscribe down below and I will be uploading new videos twice weekly. Sometimes I'll throw an extra video in there but for the most part it's twice weekly and um, I hope to see you again. See ya!